Hey, so at my local Smash Bros Ultimate Tournament, I played Kirby, Blue Kirby to be specific. Now, if you already know the origin story, feel free to like skip ahead 20 seconds. But if you don't know, Blue Kirby was my original main in Super Smash Bros Brawl. I was super casual, like playing items and stuff all the time, but you know how it is. It gets a bit competitive with your mates and every now and then, final destination, items off. Let, let's see who's the alpha. I would always go Blue Kirby and it would be such a john because I would lose as pink kirby and i'd be like actually no that doesn't count blue kirby i never lose his blue kirby hey guys did you know this video is sponsored by skillshare skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of easy to follow classes from art to programming for anybody who loves learning skillshare is often broken down into these small chunks so it never feels too overwhelming to quickly learn a new skill which is fantastic for my terrible attention span skillshare in fact has a youtube class at the moment with sorel amore sorry if i pronounced that incorrectly but she has over a million subscribers so i thoroughly enjoyed this episode where she talks about how to grow in your niche which is of course extremely similar to my situation and learning from experts in unique fields is what makes Skillshare so amazing so if you've ever had a skill where you've thought ah oh, my life would be so much more incredible if I just knew this skill then get on Skillshare because the first 1,000 of my subscribers who goes and hits that link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today get on Skillshare I'm not gonna lie to you I take a fat L to start off this tournament. <laughs> he read my soul, dude. Stitchy. So I'm up against Stitchy, and he was my first opponent on stream. I already won a match off stream. But yeah, Stitchy, who is a Lucas main. Uh, come with the blue Kirby as well. Doesn't make a difference, but... Hey, yeah, yeah, it makes a difference. It, it, it definitely makes a difference. <laughs> Dash attack there to catch. I learned that Kirby's dash attack actually really good at catching landings because the hitbox active for so long. You see there, I use that dash attack to, to catch the landing. Trying to edge guard, but I, I wasn't quite used to, to Kirby yet. I think I missed a couple more edge guards actually. Oh wait, check this out though. How crazy is that? That hits below the ledge. That is so stupid. Yep, here we go. More edge guard attempts. I just was so close every time. The dash attack. That was an interesting. <laughs> that was an interesting attempt at a combo. <laughs> Look, I, the, the CPUs do that to me sometimes, so I thought it would work. It, it, it didn't work. Wait for the double jump. Missed it. Oh yeah, I don't know what happened. I think Stitchy's like brain broke or something. And so game two, actually he switched to Greninja and he starts off the match quite well with that like up tilt there catching my landing. So I realized Greninja's hitboxes were going to be a little bit of a problem. So I started to play it super kind of chill and hoping he makes mistakes. See there. And there. That combo doesn't work, Jordan. And they're like, I, honestly, I was just kind of trying to play it super chill and then wait for the openings to come to me. And they, and they just kept coming. Down two into F smash is a true combo, by the way. That's why I went for it. If it gets the trip. Huge tech. Another opening. Yeah, honestly, Stitchy just kind of kept over committing. The dash attack to catch the landing again. So close, dude. See, he's kind of just whiffing in my face. Like, honestly, I didn't really do much to win neutral other than just, like, really good evasive play. And eventually, he would just, yeah, he would just mess up. Okay, high percent right now. Back aerial is a very good kill move for Kirby, I learned. If I wasn't getting back air kill, I was getting an edge guard kill. That was usually how my kills went. And then, at the moment, I'm really just waiting for a mess up. There we go. He messes up. And, uh, it's not a back air kill. I'll tell you that much. Third time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and with that, I win round two of my of my tournament experience. Now, up next was winners semifinals because this tour this tournament just had 22 people attend, so it was nothing huge. But I was up against Yuki Draco's Joker, who I fought when I played all Donkey Kong at a tournament in grand finals. We had a very close time at that tournament, so I was scared. 
Not gonna lie, because I have a lot more faith in my Donkey Kong than in my Kirby. Oh, wait, what was that? Was that the channel points? Dude, I have so many points on my Kirby. I don't know if they knew I was playing Kirby before everyone put down that many points. <laughs> but uh, here we go, up against the Joker. Once again, kind of playing it chill, playing it really safe. Every now and then I approach and try and get in from above, as you can see with like the down air or the forward airs. But other than that, I'm playing very chill. All these platforms, it makes the landing much easier. Yeah, and Joker just doesn't really get anything oh my God. off the top platform. I should nair in that situation. Also, look at this start. This start is crazy. Dash tack, up air, nair. Right here, I should have done another nair. I went for forward air just because in my brain, you hit them forward, you use forward air. But I think with Kirby, since it's multi-hit, the rest of my kicks don't hit him. I should have done a neutral air off, off the side of the stage. That might have killed him. Up air, down air. And then he kills me with that, dude. That was almost the sickest thing ever. <laughs> that is the dumbest thing I've seen all night. <laughs> That's what oh, I'm saying. I didn't know that was do that. so stupid. <laughs> I was doing sick and then I died on the DLC BS top tier ass. He's got it. It's here. When he got Arsene, my plan was to run. Look at me. I'm so scared right now. The Arsene is terrifying as little Kirby. I went so high. Just don't back at me, please. I'm running for the hills, dude. Woo! And then I'm chilling. I'm chilling. The Arsene's gone. Let's play. Cheeky little combos there. All right, Arsene's back. Time to run. Like, I know there's a big meme about blue Kirby being, like, you know, the, the toughest thing. Ever, but I didn't think it would be this tough. <laughs> the legend is here in the flesh. <laughs> yeah, right now I'm just hoping he overcommits and then I can forward smash him, like outspace and forward smash. Kobe's forward smash is really strong as well. Or I get the back air. <laughs> I tried to just hit that first one, and it didn't work out, so I just kept spamming it, dude. Well, he's going high, and then he's going low. Oh, and then he gets dunked on. I agree. Oh, the F smash. Yeah, and so it was a close game two, but I managed to win that one as well. And game three was also going quite well. In fact, after this down air right here, I was poised to be in a great position. Oh my god. <laughs> But I wanted to be cool. I wanted to be swaggy for the YouTube. And then, um, I had such a big lead. Oh, the two frame. And he has no jumps. You can take the game. I'm so stupid. And then game four. Help me. Help me. I should have just ran away. I should have just shielded. I should have played safe. The Arsen was there. And he smashes me with a last second forward smash to take us to game five. I can't believe we're going to game five. I couldn't believe it either. Uh, Papa's re thinking really hard about this one. He's looking up to the gods. No, no, no. I was, do I was doing that thing. I was, I was looking at, I was looking at the game on the ceiling. You know, just trying to figure out, figure out what I could do better. The Kirby's Gambit. And so now we move on to game five. It was a very close start to this game. Eventually getting the first kill there. Spot dodging, going for the up smash. Kirby's smash attacks are actually really strong. The forward smash I kind of tried to land just by like outspacing and then you forward smash into them. And the up smash actually just covers heaps above him. But I'm playing it super cautiously at the moment as you can see. Occasionally running up shielding, doing safe forward airs. Getting the combo started with those. Does he roll now? Surely. Oh, yep. I knew it. I knew it. Dude, I'm so scared at the moment with that Arsene. There we go. I just... Pa I, every time he got Arsene, I just played super patient and then eventually strike. First down B I've ever seen. And I, I never do it again, I'm pretty sure. That move is trash. Oh, my God. The... Yeah, there we go. And I get Yuki down to his last stock. No, Arsene, I've got a solid lead right now. I'm running. I'm playing safe. I'm a coward. He's got Arsene. You see, he backed and he ran away. I did not I did not run forward at all. I'm like, I ran back, dude. I jump in the air. I am chilling. Eventually, he commits and then I attack. Take advantage. But until he attacks, I ain't doing nothing. Until he dies from the spikes. And I move on. To winners finals. At this point, I'm guaranteed placing top three at the tournament. And my next opponent is Tauken, who also went to a game five and is in in his winners semi-finals. And it ended like this. Like this guy is mad with the Falcon. Tauken actually, he has been playing Smash Bros at competitive level longer than me. Him and I go way back. And look at this. <laughs> 
So this guy's mad. That intimidated me because now I'm firsting him. Look at me. I have fear in my eyes. Now, uh, Taukin whipped out the Little Mac on me. He means Little Mac, Captain Falcon, and kind of Pikachu and Sora. But uh, yeah, he didn't want to play Captain Falcon to Kirby because that actually is a tough matchup for Captain Falcon. But I assume that hopefully if I get some edge guards, it can be tough for uh, Little Mac as well. He's getting reads. Oh, he is destroying me right now. Now, my game plan of playing it super safe and then eventually waiting for a mistake didn't really work well versus the Mac because uh, Mac is so safe when he hits your shield. He has such good shield pressure. He's got such good grounded options, such good tilts that it really wasn't working out for me. And I don't know why that killed. Wait, what happened there? Because usually aerial KO punch is a lot weaker. So I don't know if I, I sucked him. I sucked him down to the ground. Did you guys see that? Oh my God. All right. The YouTube has destroyed the quality, but look, look at this. He goes for an, a jump KO punch. Usually that's really weak, but I think my mouth just sucked him down. And look, he's landed on the stage. I don't know if you can see this green blob, but it's killed me. That's crazy. Man, I just kept messing, missing edge guards to start this off as well. I kept waiting for the side B and then I wanted to down air his up B. Wasn't the play. And I, I just, oh my god, so bad. Dude, the KO punch shook me so much, I'm not gonna lie. So now, game two, I'm coming in and I gotta make some adaptions. Look, see, I try to wait, punish out a shield. It, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. He's all over me. Oh, wait, I got to punish out a shield there. Man, I could not work out how to get the ledge trap. There we go. Just hit him first. Hit him early. Finally. I kept waiting. Nah, just go out there and smack him. What's he going to do? Air dodge and then try and recover low? I don't think so. You throw off the map and then you just fucking go down and you just hit him a couple times. I don't know why that works so well. Oh, my God. Why is Nair into up smash combo? But I was just imagining just paying homage to my brawl self who used to just spam up B on Final Destination is <laughs> why I did that. <laughs> Anyways, back to the neutral. Get him on stage. Hit him! Yes! See, I'm approaching with the forward airs right now. Trying to hit him first. There we go. There we go. Taking the fight to him. This was the adjustment and it's certainly working. That was slick, man. Little Mac's actually really cool. He has KO Punch, and I thought, what's he not going to expect? He's going to expect me to play like a coward because he's got KO Punch. I'm just going to dash attack straight at him. And it ended up working out. Get him off stage. Do I get the kill here? No, I'm doing the waiting thing again. The waiting thing wasn't good. There we go. There we go. All right. 1-1. One, one. Hey, let's go! Hit him first, baby! Yeah, I'm popping off that I'm edge guarding a little Mac with my Kirby. I, I, what, let me be happy. Ah, uh, okay. I went, I went there because, like, you know, when they shoot on platforms, I thought you could jump up and just like. But I, th I should have done a full hop. It's not actually not on. Okay, maybe it is on. No, so he's he's gone. He's out of there. <laughs> and so after this, you see, I did. I teabagged. I did. Oh my god, ban me. Ban oh my god, I'm such a troll. The reason I reckon Falcon is. Oh, he's dead. Oh my god, I'm pretty sure in that match he actually did more damage to me than I did to him. Damage given, 81. Damage taken, 82. <laughs> I just point at it like, dude. <laughs> I don't know if this was disrespectful. I'm just having fun. I'm like, dude, you actually did more damage to me, and it. <laughs> How stupid is that? Look, I'm pointing it out. I probably shouldn't have done that. He's like, yep, cool, man. That's actually really funny. I guess I guess it's not funny if you're on the other end of it. Anyways, game four here. I get the trip started off. Then hit him with a dash attack. You see my plan of like... Okay, this is let me let me demonstrate the plan. This is what's happening, right? I used to be like, oh my god, I'm over here. Oh, oh, I'm trying to dodge you. And then eventually he comes up to me. Ah! He comes up to me and then he's like, boom, boom, boom. And I'm like, oh my god, that's scary. so scary. So instead, in, I'll be like, oh, I'm over here. Run over. Bam, hit him first. And then he wants to come over to me and punch. But he's like walking on over. Boy, he just gets hit in the face out of nowhere. That's, that's what's going on. That is my analysis. 
There we go. Forward air. Hit him first. He good offset potential. He is bottom two. Yeah, look at me moving forward. I'm not saying he's not bottom Get him out of here. Oh, wait. He's I should have neared. Oh, I went. I meant to up in. I side beat. Oh, my God. I'm falling apart. No, he's, he's bottom two. Why did I not yeah, near any of those? Man, like, like Nutria is so free. All right, he starts adjusting now. So he did a bit of a dash back and then F tilt to kind of counteract me swinging first, which is nice. He definitely needed to do more of that though. There we go. He waits for me to do it. That F smash. That F smash looks stupid, but it's because I I was so used to him running in. But yeah, he he's adapted here. <laughs> but he didn't adapt to one thing. <laughs> Dude, I'm so carried. How do I take this last stock? Please don't tell me it's another neutral B. <laughs> I'm looking for it. I moved on to Grand Finals with my Kirby. Now, losers finals was between Yuki, Draco, and Taukin, both who I've previously beaten at this tournament. And Taukin, as you can see, went to game five and he absolutely killed it, dude. <laughs> Yuki left so quick. <laughs> Grand Finals, baby! Me versus Taukin's Little Mac once again. He's a brave man. He started off with the Little Mac once again. And uh, that, that's a hint there. Started off with the Little Mac. Uh, I honestly felt very comfortable just kind of understanding this super grounded game. It kept it really basic in terms of like, you want to try and just catch their movement. That's kind of broken. That's kind of crazy, actually. That's kind of rough. <laughs> yeah. Woo. That's sick, actually. What is that? Did you see that? Was that was I like about to get infinited here? What is going on? This guy is a magician. There we go. Wait and punish. Then catch him off guard with the surprise dash attack. I tried to troll and I messed up, but it worked out because he he thought I was gonna aerial like a normal person. That didn't work at all. Okay, can I show you what I was trying to do? What I was trying to do was from a little video <laughs> called Kirby is OP, where little Z gets this little Mac and he shoots him off. <laughs> and he does this forever. <laughs> and so this is why I was thinking of this. I was like, dude, this would be so funny to land. But unfortunately, Taukin is not a for glory Little Mac, and it just did not work whatsoever. He's straight back on stage. Ooh, he read my soul, dude. I love this guy. So good with the But my character's kind of broken. <laughs> I just left. <laughs> Man. So now he switches it up to Sora, which is pretty spooky. I haven't really played many Soras in tournament. And see, he's so floaty, I couldn't get that combo. Ooh, and so it started off quite well for me, to be honest, versus Sora. He probably just wasn't feeling very, uh, very comfortable in playing the Sora since he hadn't been playing it all tournament, and now he's ripped it out in Grand Finals. The thing is, I don't think Tarkin is the pick the, uh, Sora is the pick the <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, I gotta say it. Classic commentary moment. After the person starts losing by a bunch, it's like, I actually don't think this was the play, guys, whatsoever. Like, I probably do that all the time, too, but it's just it's just so funny, you know? Like, you never say it before. Like, they pick... Sometimes people do. Like, they pick someone, you're like, oh, I don't know about this. But, like, they're losing, and you're like, hmm, I don't know if this was the best idea, actually. Talcan's other characters look significantly better than this. Yeah. It, it is true, though. He's probably not very familiar with the Sora compared to his other characters. No. There oh, we go. I did the platform thing. You see, I, I did a full hop that no. time, and it kind of covers a lot of options. Uh, and then that F-Smash is brutal! Yeah. And so he went the Falcon. Yeah, his Falcon is good. Uh, but this matchup is rough, I'm not going to lie to you. It turned out playing Kirby, like, oh yeah, I'll play Kirby, it's a bad character. It worked out that I kind of got some uh, good matchups. Obviously, the Joker was not a good matchup, but yeah. Fighting a Captain Falcon in Grand Finals, I could not have asked for much more. But this Falcon is nice. Look at that. He's got the speed, the movement. If he hit that down there, I was dead. He is actually killing me right now. 
Smacks me off stage. I get a bit tricky here with my jumps. Jump back a bit. Just avoid that back air and the up air. That was very close. But then he eventually catches me with the up B as well. He is moving with this Falcon. Catch that. Bam. That's why the matchup sucks. He SD'd at literally zero, so I hope he's stocked. Oh, the oh, homie homie stock. stock. <laughs> oh, no, what a okay, guy. obviously, I'm just going to put it out there. I wouldn't usually do that in a tournament, but I was like, okay, this is going on YouTube. I should probably homie stock, but I'm not like that usually. I'll admit it. Man, the pressure is so intense. Honestly, him switching to the Captain Falcon threw me off because it just added this depth of, like, air. <laughs> like, that just didn't exist with the Mac. And now with the Falcon, he's, like, see, like, he's jumping over things and back airing down airing me and so honestly i think it's the jumping that kind of threw me off at first here and he gets the jab at the legend i'm gone and so we run it back and look at talcon's movement he's just <laughs> flying around everywhere like look i go for this dash tag do you see how little he avoided it to get the side b like he avoided it so well that i end up on the other side of him as he hits the side b his movement was crazy overextended a bit there though I get the punish, play it chill, use forward air to cover jump, because he's jumping everywhere. I'm like, dude, get out of the air. I don't want it. You try to double jump back, F smash. Um, I, I just, yeah, I probably could have reacted to that and nared it. I just wasn't, you. see, I need to use nair. Nair, yes! Oh, I wasn't ready for that either. The content hammer. The content hammer. I Surely I whip it out again. And I do. Playing it safe, waiting. Oh, man, where's my reactions? Dude, I'm so scared! <laughs> okay, 136. Right now, all I want is like a back air. The back air will just straight up kill him. Or that. That's kind of broken. Oh, no! I can't ex- <laughs> He's having none of that with the Falcon. The Falcon can actually move to places to punish me. Up air doesn't kill. What do I kill him with? Oh, the dash attack two frame. Avoid that. Yeah, I thought he was going to go for the up there. The up is really good. It's like the equivalent of me going for the jump neutral B to grab someone on platform. Falcon does it with up B. So I shield and I'm like, wait, I know this trick. Let me get out of here. See, I kind of jumped away. Hey, the multiple jumps are so good because he's trying to catch the landings, but it's kind of risky with Kirby and the multiple jumps. Honestly, a lot of the time you're better off just running up underneath Kirby and jumping up an aerialing. It's with King Dedede as well. Like, usually people like to jump, 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 jump. So instead of waiting to try and guess when they'll actually land to catch the landing, just if you're here, just like fly up and hit them up there. You know what I mean? Tauke went to catch the landing, gets punished for it off stage. And the hammer, oh, baby! That was some susty eye. I think he went to jump and then hold it out. But I got my hammer kill. I'm feeling good. I'm ready to win. But Talcott ain't ready to go out yet. Man, he couldn't need that. All right, here we go. Forward throw. Get him up in the air. He catches me with a back air. Last stocks right now. But he's at 129. I tried to do a little bait there. Do you see that? I like tried to down B because I'm still invincible. So if he went to punish my down B, I could have just like hit him with a nair. Little tricks. Little little tricks. He doesn't fall for it though. He's a veteran. Get the dash attack though. Off stage. Go for the down air. Miss it. I jump away because I know he's got to be fiending for a down air right now because, uh, you know, it's 151 to 0. So as soon as I miss this down air, you see I jump out. You see? Because I, like, I don't want to get cheesed. I know he's looking for it. But instead, I hit him with the reverse oh, cheese. Oh, wait, he didn't die from that. <laughs> he's going for the down air. Oh. oh, my God. There we go. Up there. There we go. I thought I won with that. But I did not at all. <laughs> and there we go. The blue Kirby. It's unbeatable. I told you guys. It's, it's the best. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment on what other characters do you'd like to see me try and play at a tournament. And subscribe if you haven't already. Leave the video a like if you liked it. Peace.